The latest trailer for the Sonic 3 movie is out and we're gonna take a look at it, so let's go. The big boom openings, go. you gotta love them. Showtime! What is this den of So the Chow are like some kind of performance group now? It does look like a Pokemon. Detective Pikachu. Konichi, what? I don't know how long you had to wait in your life to hear Idris Elba say you look like a Pikachu, Pika Pika, but now you have it. I hope that ends up on a t-shirt, right? Idris Elba with his face there and it's just below it says Pika Pika. That'd be great. It's time. They, okay, child, child sized hedgehogs, they're surrounding them with guns, and then we cut to Gerald. That's right, Gerald Robotnik, if you didn't know that. This appears to be going off of Sonic Adventure 2, spoiler alert, for what, a 20 year old game, I guess? I don't know. But yeah, he was in prison for a while and did, you know, had some ideas. Shadow. Finally, we will have our revenge. But what good is a dastardly plot? can't conspire with family. So again, we've got this sort of timelines crossing situation, generation sort of situation mixing into each other. So the father of robot of Eggman is now teamed up with him and they're having this big old uh, throwdown, as you can see. There's two Eggman now? Double your villains, double your fun. Any last words? <laughs> uh, nice magic marble. It's getting a little annoying. I, I guess I'm the only one on this one, but it gets a little annoying with Sonic just underestimating every weapon. I, I get that he's a kid, but I think by now he would be like, okay, red glowy thing has been a problem for me and my friends a lot recently, so I should probably take this red glowy thing as seriously as those other things wanted to be taken seriously. Hmm? Real scary. Oh, and it's a black hole. Scary. A lot of people have complained about the ring situation where they're not necessarily like life points for Sonic in this setting, they're teleportation systems, which back and forth kind of means the same thing. You kind of have to collect as many rings as you can in order to complete the stage, otherwise you fail the stage or get a really low rank anyway. And so I understand the goal here was to try and turn the rings into something more functional for storytelling, but man, I don't know. I don't think it really landed here with teleportation rings. We need your help on a super... Knuckles, do you mind? Oh, excuse me. Take a look at Knuckles' face, right? Just take a look at that face. It's like his brain completely waxes over right there. Like, the animators forgot to give him an expression, so he's just like... You know, and th there's tails over there, too. It's just like, what did I just see? Did they open a black hole in a localized area and it didn't cause the full collapse of reality? You know? <laughs> Help on a super dangerous top secret mission. We're in. No questions asked. Let's go. What are we doing? We have to blow up the moon. Mm. Are you ready? We were born ready. It's a cool All shot. All right, boys. Pretty. Try and keep up. Come on, Granddaddy O. We've got dirt to do. With shadows powered, we can rule humanity. So it looks like they're using Shadow to charge up the cannon, okay? So that's sort of his purpose, is to generate that energy, sort of like how Robotnik, excuse me, Eggman, my apologies. I learned of Sonic, not through the video games, but through the cartoon, back when he was running around with Sally, okay? It was all, I knew Robotnik before I knew Eggman. You'll have to excuse me, okay? So the situation is, is that Eggman, okay, he has chased Sonic throughout this series because of that fleck of energy that we saw in the, in the first movie that was on Sonic's fur. Of course, Sonic generates this energy when he runs. Gerald figured out a way to use that energy in a weaponized fashion, and that's what appears to be Shadow's function in this canon. When we're done, there won't be anything left to rule. That is dark. And, Somebody... and they, they cut the moon in half. Well, it's no better. It's no different than what happened with the, uh, I think it was Sonic Adventure 2, or maybe Sonic Adventure 3. I forget which one it was where Eggman carved his face into the moon. Yeah, it's, it's not any different than that, but it is it's quite a step up. A little bit of Michael Bay energy there. You better call Google Maps. 
Life's all about the choices we make. Maria's Remember to back. listen to your That's heart. You You're like gonna make the right Maria. choice when matters the most. Whoa, 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 whoa. They gave Shadow the gun. Not the gun that he used, but a gun. And it sounds like it's a, like a laser pistol gun, so it's like one of those happy mediums. Because in Shadow's standalone game, when we first see him, he shows up with what appears to be an Armalite rifle, and somehow it's a pump-action Armalite rifle with a magazine. It's that, you know, guns, guns are things, and they... Some of them don't do that. Most of them don't work like that. But you know what? For Shadow, guess what? He's got a gun in this one. He's got his motorcycle in this one. And what I appreciate about what they did here is they didn't sit here and try to pacify this. They didn't give him like a fake little Nerf gun, right? Little to 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 Nerf gun. Little darts in it, right? They gave him a full-on what appears to be a laser pistol because, again, a little bit of trouble, you know, with, with bang shoot, you know, boomstick situation with this. But I appreciate it. It's it's the best of both worlds they could accomplish in this kind of climate where everybody's paranoid about guns, not the people using them. Wanna head down to another? Who does your highlights? The more you talk. I don't do that with Sonic, please. I don't hate this, right? I don't get me wrong, but that's not that's not that's not a Sonic thing. Who does your highlights? That's something you say, like Spider-Man says, is a mocking thing, not not to make friends. And Sonic's clearly trying to be nice here. But uh, I, you know. Here we go. That's your highlight. The more you talk, the harder I want to hit you. This ends now. Our destiny awaits. Now again, you see that energy in there, and it appears to be that Eggman is controlling the, the weapon system. Of course, we saw what it does. It sliced a, a, the bottom of the moon off. But one of the things I, I'm kind of going back and forth on is Keanu Reeves' voice. I get that it's kind of like gravelly and cool, but I'm not sure it fits Shadow. I was really excited when the uh, the the trick uh, leak came out about uh, Hayden Christensen playing uh, being the voice of Shadow, because I again like I think he does a really good gravelly kind of angry kid voice. You know, it, it, granted he's you know he's pushing forty these days or maybe over. I'm not sure. I think he's almost forty, and so you know he's got a lot of there's a lot of like. Uh, you know, uh, difference from when he was younger, certainly. But I, I, th I thought his voice in a, you know, more serious tone would sound a bit better coming out of, of Shadow um, than Keanu. But again, I hear, I hear John Wick and I hear the, the Matrix Neo when he speaks. That's just where I come from. Little kids aren't going to notice that. They're going to think, wow, that voice sounds really low and really, like, menacing, cool. You know, and that's fine, but I just, I'm out here and I don't recognize that voice as Shadow's voice. That's just me. You were right about one thing. This ends now. It's, uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> ah! It is good to see Jim Carrey doing Jim Carrey things again. I don't know about you, but I think that's always a good sign of a movie when Jim Carrey's having fun, all right? A lot of the times when they try to do these esoteric movies that try to uh, kind of advance the understanding like more popularly with the human mind and things like that, it falls short. Jim Carrey's just not that kind of guy. I'm glad he's found like enough breathing room in um, uh, Sonic, sorry, my brain wiped for a second there. Uh, in the Sonic franchise, to be Jim Carrey from like the late '80s, early '90s, mid '90s, Jim Carrey, the mask Jim Carrey, he's he's pretty fun that way, and I, I think he has more uh, more talent in that realm than he does in these serious movies like the Number Twenty Three. It was uh, it was really fun to to see him just go leaping across the room again. Now I don't know if this is Jim Carrey in the flesh that just tackled this uh, this other actor. Of course, we both know who these these people are played by, but. It could be Jim Carrey tackling a, uh, a stunt actor. It could be two stunt actors tackling each other. I don't know. But the implication that it is Jim Carrey leaping through the air like that is it, it, it warms my heart. It brings back the old days, the mid 90s there when he was doing all that goofy stuff in kids movies and movies aimed for families. So it's good to see that energy back out of him again instead of all this crazy stuff where he was climbing the fence to enter his own house. It was really weird. It's a really weird time for Jim Carrey. 
But speaking of really weird, I did want to close out with this. Now, we've been watching the Sonic Boom uh, footage back here because YouTube's tricky about reaction content, and I just didn't want to risk it. But I want to bring your attention to this. The Sonic X Shadow Generations game released a month ago, but it's already 50% off for Black Friday deals. Now, I don't think that the game's kind of like sudden 50% off thing is going to hurt the movie whatsoever. I don't even think people view these two properties as related at more than their visuals and like the brand identity. Most people view the Sonic games as divorced from the animated features and now the live action movies. So we're going to have to wait and find out, though, if people are kind of fatigued on this or if they're interested in jumping in on the I believe this is Sonic Adventure 2 plot line. But it's again, not a bad idea to draw from. It is iconic for a reason. And. It does have that singular cool song that really redefined the 3D Sonic games as they were coming out, which was that Live and Learn song. It always sounded good. It always sounded good. And always the running around at the speed of sound song when he's out running a giant gun truck. Yeah. I hope they have that one in this one. I hope they bring out the giant gun truck. That would be funny to have, him ch have that chase him around for a little while. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below what you think about all this and do you think that Keanu Reeves is a good fit for Shadow? I don't think so. I, I think Hayden Christensen would have been, you know, a better land here. But that's just me. That's just me out on my own little, like, I wanted it this way and it didn't go that way. I, I don't have a problem with the movie as it exists, as it's advertised. But I think a few things could have changed to polish it up a little bit. But that's just me. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one and good luck out there. <laughs>